Hi, my name's Rich, I'm the Foundation Field Geologist and I'm here today filming outside the entrance of the Ravna 3 tunnels. So the Ravna 3 tunnels, they're a relatively new discovery for the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation. Uh, they were discovered in summer of 2018 uh, with the help of uh, our team of international volunteers. Um, we were trying to find the lateral sort of extent of the Ravna Tunnel complex. Uh, in between the Ravna Tunnels and the Ravna 3 Tunnels is a small north-south trending valley and there was a discussion as to whether or not the tunnels were so old that perhaps those tunnels existed prior to the incision of that valley and if that was the case then we would surely find tunnels on both sides of the valley. So the Ravna conglomerate is horizontally bedded so we would expect to find tunnels at the same elevation on both the east and west sides of that valley. So in summer of 2018 we set to find the conglomerate, any exposures on the western side of the valley and sure enough we found a few little uh, outcrops and they displayed some holes under, underneath them with cold air blowing out from them. So this indicates that there must be uh, a hollow space allowing air to circulate deeper within the deposit. So the volunteers set to work excavating and it was about three or four weeks uh, before we gained entry into the Ravna 3 tunnels and uh, we found open space. They were not blocked up like the rest of the Ravna tunnel network usually is found. And in summer of 2019, uh, we actually started to recover artefacts from the raised floor within those tunnels. And uh, now this was very significant. In fact, the Ravna 3 tunnels represent one of the most significant milestones in the Bosnian Pyramid project, because for the first time it was undeniable that uh, we're dealing with uh, something that is historical. You know, critics and skeptics of Dr. Sam and the Pyramid Hypothesis have proposed that uh, he's been digging the tunnels himself. So finding these artefacts was a significant um, development for the project. So let me just take you inside the Ravna 3 tunnels to show you exactly where those artefacts were recovered and then I will actually show you some of those artefacts we have on exhibition here in the Ravna 2 park. Now underground at the entrance of the Ravna 3 tunnels and where I'm working now was excavated by uh, myself and the volunteers in 2018. When we reached to this point here, we could see that the rest of the tunnel network was open. There was no blocking material. So when we found this empty space, we were very excited. Let me just take you in here. Okay, so this first chamber that I find myself in was where we found most of the artefacts. So the floor of this passage uh, chamber, I should say, was raised between 30 to 40 centimeters above the clay floor, which I will show you in just a moment. And as I say, we found over 3000 artefacts within this section of the tunnels. So this area of the tunnel network had been utilized uh, from Bosnian medieval period, Bosnian Roman period, and the local museum has done some analysis on pottery and has suggested there is even Neolithic pottery uh, amongst the finds. So let me just uh, change camera angles and give you a better look. Okay, so this here is the clay floor I've been talking about. And here is the conglomerate. So you can see the contact boundary between the two rock units. Now you'll also notice perhaps that the clay is not horizontally bedded, but the conglomerate is. So what we have here in geological terms is an angular unconformity. Which also tells us that uh, these are not part of the same depositional sequence, which the geological maps of this area insist are. So here we have an example of how we were excavating the raised floor of the Ravna 3 tunnels. This is a one meter by one meter square excavation. You can see here, this is the raised floor 
this is about 30 centimeters here so this was full of the artifacts that we were pulling out and it took us all summer to actually clear all of this floor space I'll take you to exactly where the artifacts started to cease being recovered so here we have a a long straight section of tunnels. This is heading in a westerly direction, so deeper within the hillside. And when we got to about this point here, the finds started to stop. Now, up until this point here, we didn't categorically know whether these tunnels were associated with the original Ravna tunnels. I mean, it could be just that there are two separate tunnels built at different time periods. I mean, what evidence connected the Ravna tunnels with the Ravna 3 tunnels? Well, what we found at the end of the excavation season in 2019 confirmed their connection. And here we see one of the drywalls. So we have at least 50 drywalls within the Ravna tunnels, and this was the second one we found within the Ravna 3 tunnels. There is one here which we reburied to protect it. It was quite small. Here's a little picture of it as an example. But I will do further video on the significance of drywalls themselves because they do deserve a video of their own. But to just briefly discuss here, we find drywalls where there is a meeting point between two tunnel sections. So you see that this tunnel section heads west, but we also see here, you can see that there is a partially infilled tunnel behind the drywall heading in a northerly direction. So we always find drywalls at tunnel junction points. So here, this drywall marks the junction point between this section of tunnels where we found no artifacts, and this section of tunnels where we did find artifacts. So Roman period, medieval period, it seems as though they were not utilizing this section of the tunnels. They stopped at around about this point here. And we'll discuss why that may be the case again in a further video. Okay, so this is just a quick look inside the Ravna 3 tunnels. Now let's go outside and I will show you the artefacts themselves. So right now we are looking at a partially reconstructed Roman terrasigulata pot. This is high quality luxury ceramic ware. Again, this is from the Bosnian Roman period. Next to it, the single piece of jewellery we found within the Ravna 3 tunnels. This is a small pendant connector, approximately one and a half centimetres across, composed of bronze. Here is an enlarged photograph, so you can see the sort of motif on the connector, which has been suggested is Celtic in its abstract design. So again, part of the Bosnian Roman Celtic period. Next to it, we have something quite unusual to be found underground. We have a Roman roof tile, so a Roman tegular roof tile. Again, we find another Celtic motif on that Roman roof tile. So manufacturers of tiles would put their own individual identifying motif on the underside, as to, so to be protected from weather. So that's two Celtic motifs found within the Ravna 3 tunnels. Here we have some more metallic artifacts we found in the Ravna 3 tunnels. We have a bronze belt buckle, some ferrous material here, maybe a blade of some sort, handmade nails, and what look to be small bronze coins, although they are heavily corroded, so we are not able to identify any uh, sort of design upon them, dates, for example. So they would need further analysis. Okay. 
if I just cross the exhibition. Now we come to the Bosnian medieval pottery. Here we have several rims of pots. You can see very simple design, just parallel lines. These would have been domestic ceramics. Here's different types. You can see the difference in quality between these fragments. So within the Ravna 3 tunnels, we were able to recover over 3,000 individual fragments of pottery. So very rich. In fact, we found more uh, pottery within uh, the Ravna 3 tunnels than anywhere else since uh, the Bosnian Pyramid project began. A few more fragments here again. Simple ornamentation from the medieval period. And over here, we have a nearly complete reconstruction of one of those medieval pots. This was reconstructed by uh, several volunteers from 2019. They did a really good job. So thank you to them. Here is another pot. So that's the rim. The base is missing. We find it upside down. So the existence of these artifacts within the Ravna 3 tunnels once again disproves the conjecture made by skeptics and critics of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation and the Pyramid Hypothesis. Uh, the notion that Dr. Sam has created uh, these tunnels himself or perhaps it was former Yugoslavian army digging those tunnels these artifacts categorically disprove that conjecture. We have several different historic periods represented by their artifacts inside the Ravna tunnels. So this means that those tunnels have been in use through historic time and probably beyond that, but that is uh, a discussion for a further video in the future. So I hope you enjoyed that brief look inside the Ravna 3 tunnels, the artifacts we recovered from there, and the explanation as to why the Ravna 3 tunnels are a significant step forward for the Bosnian Pyramid project. Um, after this discovery was made, uh, the local museum, which has been mostly um, unsupportive of Dr. Sam's efforts, uh, we now have a relationship with them, we are cooperating with them, uh, on this project and on future projects, for example, the Ravna 4 discovery, which was made most recently. Uh, we will discuss that in a future video. So little steps forward, but significant steps forward. Um, so yeah, I will be making more videos um, in the upcoming weeks uh, here in the Ravna tunnel complex, but also on the pyramids themselves. If anyone has any suggestions or questions, uh, regarding the Bosnian pyramids and the project here, please leave a comment below, uh, share this video, I'd be very grateful. Um, have a good day and I hope to see you one day. Ciao.